A short while ago, I spoke to Charles Petri, who was the United Nations top representative in Burma. He was expelled by the military regime for his outspoken comments about the dire state of the Burmese economy. He says his expulsion shows just how sensitive the military regime is about criticism of its financial woes. I think there, there, there was more linked to, to the statement uh, was made just days or maybe a, a week after the end of, of the events, the August to October events. And basically we, the UN in country, felt it was our responsibility to one, um, explain that what we had heard in the streets, specifically some of the messages the monks had conveyed were the same messages that we were conveying to them and we had been conveying to them for the last four, four and a half to five years, which was the, the, the message that the people were finding it increasingly difficult to meet their daily needs. It was a message of poverty. Then I, and, and the message went on further to explain that we were, we were seeking to be able to engage with the authorities on this issue. What is your current assessment about the situation in Burma at present? The uh, assessment is that currently, the, officially, the authorities seem to be denying sort of the, the reality of what happened during those three months. And it's extremely dangerous, and, and it's a point that, that, that I and my colleagues within the UN are, are, are continuing to make to the regime, that they cannot ignore the message of suffering and poverty that came out during those, those three months. And finally, Mr. Petri, many of the Burmese we've talked to have very high expectations of the United States' involvement in Burma. Are you optimistic about the Burmese military regime's willingness to cooperate with the UN envoy, Ibrahim Gambari? I think it's, it's uh, I mean, I, I know Professor Gambari well, having worked with him in part of his, some of his missions. I mean, the, the, the UN will to stress sort of a number of points to, to the authority, or my successor on the socioeconomic side, Professor Gambari on the political side. So the Burmese people have right to believe that the UN will not cease to make those points. And we will try and find different ways of, of, uh, of getting the, 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 the authorities to respond. I mean, the messages that they, or the, the yeah, messages they've conveyed over the last few weeks are not very helpful and, and don't give us a sense of, of break, reaching, you know, reaching them. But it, it just, you know, just highlights how much more difficult the task actually is. But it's a task that has to be accomplished and ways have to be found. There we have to leave points. it. Uh, Charles Petrie, thank you very much for talking to us. Uh, you're welcome.